Well, I mean, this was Maguire post-match. Have a, have a listen to this, Simon. I was so certain it was a penalty. I don't understand why he's been sent to, to the monitor to even check it on goal side of, of the defender. I feel a touch on my shoulder, he's pulling me back, and then I feel actually a little clip on my heels as well. It was minimal, but it's a penalty, especially after the referee points to the penalty spot. You think there's no chance it's getting overturned, and I was so confident that it was going to be given as a penalty, but it seems like the, the decisions at the moment are going against us. But we've got to do more to win the game. We can't be relying on, on VAR decisions. We've got to um, do more to win the game, and we often puffed and created chances, but we've still got to improve. See, I like Harry. I like him a lot. But it wasn't given because it wasn't a penalty. Absolutely pitiful and minimal contact. Um, look, the answer to the question is everything is a sum of all its parts. But, the, you know, and in part, this is the answer. Players are cheats and referees are weak. That simple. And a lack of consequence. Mm. Mm. You know, you look at some of these decisions that are being given or decisions that are being contemplated and you look at the players. And this might be slightly idealistic in my behalf, on my part, but they should be ashamed of themselves. These are professional footballers. Mm. You know, you look at it and go, the hell are you players about? You know, Harry Maguire is a Goliath of a man and a minimal contact. That You know, first of all, as Danny says, offside. Second of all, if you look at the contact itself, it, you, you'd... <laughs> You know, you'd think someone had put attached him to a pulley and pulled him down. You know, he was barely touched. It's the whole sentiment of the way the game has been allowed to go. Where where it lies, whether it's players coming from abroad or whether it comes from a culture of coaching or whether it's a winner of all cost mentalities, mm. it needs to be eradicated. And it comes down to how the officials are prepared to referee the games. If you don't want this in our game, then it's incumbent upon the PGMOL to get the referees to stamp this out. And the way you stamp something out is to consequent the players. When they're trying to buy, con, cheat a penalty mm. for virtually no contact whatsoever, what do they get? On the whole, nothing. They get looked The problem at. is, Simon, this, the, the, the big issue here is when, when we're talking about contact, that we've got to a point where contact is becoming a foul and a penalty. And we all know that minimal contact doesn't mean you have to go down That's in the exactly box. That's exactly it. And if you take away VAR from this argument, because it, it's not that relevant in terms of this was happening long before VAR came in. I, I was part of an a, a initiative um, that, um, and happy to be involved in making a judgment call on whether a player dived to try and gain an advantage and get a penalty. Yeah, now, there were some caveats around that and some rules that you could, but it was a starting point that I thought was positive and good. Now, I could, I could quite easily, and I'm sure you guys could as well, sit there and, and watch a montage of penalty decisions or dives or so-called fouls because of minimal contact, some no contact, and, no, and, and quite quickly come to a conclusion that he's, he's dived after minimal contact. Now, what, what the problem is, is people are saying, well, if there is contact, who, who, is, who is the referee or who am I or who is anybody? To determine to the judge? level of contact, not to take someone. Yes, yeah, but it's yeah. nonsense. It's nonsense. We've watched football for, well, I've watched football for 40 years. I mean, the fact is that I can tell when a player is trying to con a ref or stitch up it. And until there's consequence, which is what we always talk about yeah. on this show, and Simon rightly brought it up there, until there is a consequence for players trying to cheat, that it will not stop. And, and can we blame the players for taking advantage of the weakness of the referees? Indeed. Well, well I think we can, and we should, because can players, we? managers, and officials now accept... Well, gamesmanship in the, everything. The bar for minimal contact is so fractionally game, Gamesmanship you know, manifests itself in all sports, whether it's tennis players taking 35 bounces of a ball to get someone's psychological balance when they're receiving a serve, or it's a player diving. The, the notion that referees have to... I think the, the lesser of two evils is consequencing somebody with subjectivity and getting rid of it from the game than perhaps getting it wrong because people are suggesting that it's subjectivity about what it takes someone to fall over. Mm. Look at some of the decisions, and it's my hobby horse at the right at this moment in time, look at some of the decisions that Mohamed Salah gets at Liverpool. And yeah. I, I, beyond the fact he's an outstanding footballer and scores wonderful goals, I think some of the penalties that, he's bar that he buys are contemptible. Absolutely, I think they yeah. bring. I think some of the some of the players in the Premier League bring the game into disrepute. Well, contemptible is a strong word, Simon, but I'll use it here as well. Is it not contemptible, Danny, that Harry Maguire still insists post match that was a penalty? It is too. Yeah, 
Well, what do you? I mean, listen. You, you want to judge Harry Maguire coming off a pitch and doing interviews, and when he hasn't had time to just calm down, his adrenaline is still going. He's angry that they've not played well and not won the game. Of course, well, it's, it's up to him. To no, it's it, up to him to you, choose you his expect words. him to have the intelligence and the calmness to have watched yes, it five yes. times. And no, now, we, we expect on. him to have the calmness and the the, the foresight and be well, that, honest. But that's coming, Jim. The, you the, haven't played the game then, because if you're you're the captain of Man United, you're fuming. You've draw, drawn a game against a team you should be wiping the floor with, and you're frustrated and angry, and you want to vent, and you want to. You, you're not. You can't expect someone's adrenaline to calm down that quickly, and expect him to have the the, yeah, the emotional vent, intelligence. You can, you can to, vent, Danny, without. Without, without completely misrepresenting something. But maybe in the moment he knows he was telling his truth. Penalty. He knows but, but that. But maybe he felt it was. If the other way round, if the then, other yeah. way round, and he was the defender, he would be up in arms if someone gave him a penalty against him for that. He'd be, he might he'd be, be on his soapbox t- then, wouldn't he? Yeah. Well, yeah, but are we, are we isolating one player's post match conference? Well, we're using it as an example. The, that's what you do in a conversation. Yeah, but, you find but, an but example. Lots of players you could, we could, we could name lots of players who come out after and say things where you go, come on. It's ridiculous. It's, Managers also who are, who should be the leading light, and they oh, should. And we should, should also. Agree. And we should also. We should also highlight it and call them out because this is a blot on our game. Yeah, it's yes. wrong. It. It, it brings the integrity of the game into question, and I do think it's contemptible at times. And I do think it brings the game into disrepute because it makes the whole spirit of the game, which might be idealistic on my part, come into question because it's fundamentally wrong and it's cheating and it needs to stop. It's got to Simon, stop. Simon, if, if if Andy Johnson at Palace, who was great at getting pens, he was at Fulham as well. If he'd have got you a pen on the last day to keep you up that day, right, where he's he's, he's he did he's gone over too he easily. Did. Yeah. Dougie Friedman's called it, yeah. Well, you got relegated also. I know. I'm saying on the day where you got relegated, if Andy Johnson had have got a penalty and cheated, I don't think you'd be moaning and turn, giving him a, a, a kick up the back, so, you know, a slap on the backside. For, for well, would you? Would you? Well, I think you can go to the extreme in a conversation and say, at that moment, would I be analysing the nature of a penalty and how it was achieved? That doesn't alter the bigger <laughs> picture. Well, of course, if you're sitting in a situation where at the very moment something as pivotal and critical as that it manifests itself, no, of course I'm not going to sit there and say, well, look, in my back of my heart, in my back of my head, I'd be thinking, I don't like this. But mm. like everything else, you take the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. It doesn't mean that you're not yeah. for the overriding, overarching campaign of saying this needs to be gotten rid of ad infinitum. So the question never gets put to me, would you take the benefit of an ultimate decision? Well, I'm simply I'm simply saying it because of the fact that where, where players and managers and coaching staff come from when they do these interviews is one where they're emotionally invested in a club and, and probably don't have the for, or the, the foresight to think ahead or the bigger picture and, and say what they truly believe because they're protecting their own and protecting their own jobs. But nobody needs to have played the game, Danny, at the weekend to have seen Maguire's situation was not a penalty. You don't need to have played the game to see that. I didn't say that. It wasn't a penalty. I'm on about, I'm on about a player coming off a pitch where he hasn't analysed all the footage and he's he's got but, one belief but he in was his head. And to do it. I mean, but the bit about the offside, but yes, we can, we can question the fact that he would not necessarily know. But the ability to be able to... He actually frameworks himself. There was minimal contact. Right, OK. So that then means you've got a fall over like you've been shot. The culture of football needs a sea change. Yeah, I agree. 